Yo, what's going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I just received a text from my boy Franklin. He said that he's looking into that chip. So, uh, let me see if I can give him a call real quick, see if that works. Alright, it says it's busy. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he'll do something. But, I know for a fact that I'm on my way to the Big M, so. Let me get in this car and roll. Let me turn my waypoint on real quick. Oh, come on. There we go. All right, less than a mile to go, so let me just bulldoze my way back to the crib. <laughs> now, I wonder what's at the crib, though. Ain't no, like, what mission do I got to do that's at the crib? It, it, it takes so much for me to try to figure out this game the way I'm playing it so fast Like I'm not even taking it all in right now. Like I'm just doing mission after mission after mission And there's so much storyline that I'm gonna need to go back and look at I might end up watching my own videos That's how crazy it's gonna be So, you know once I catch up to it get to that big score Then it'll be all about the money And like y'all seen one of my last videos where I did a job for Solomon he gave me that, uh, I think, associate producer, but or assistant producer, I don't know. But um, I didn't get no money for the job. Just point that out. You know, that did happen. Hey, what? But, <clears throat> oh. Hey, I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things, and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now, and I don't know what to do, except I want to say I love you and hug it out, but all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore, and the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay, so lame all right you are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes you do bad shit and things i don't know if i love you and i'm pretty sure i hate you a little bit but i'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other and you're just a drunk lame dad you know what that might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me so will you buy me a car what i mean not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job. Because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way. I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hint. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. Does that mean she's a porn star? Bean machine. Is she a porn star? I'm just, I just I just wanna know. Is she a porn star? So what's been happening? 
you know, uh, I don't know, s stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Those beast Hispanic dudes with automatic weapons and blacked-out windows? They kind of made me think it was an involuntary exodus. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. Alright. Finally, we can get to this mission. The dialogue is over. Let's do it. There they are. Outside. Come on, let's say hi. Let's walk up and be civil. Caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle good. Uh, excuse me. I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is too. A picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unitard on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What, what are you doing? Ah, ah, I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted... I'm meaning to say to you, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Did someone say... Shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No. No yoga. I, uh, I... All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. But what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on. I want one too. Later. I don't know what the hell he was talking about. Yeah, the tattoo parlor. Tattoo parlor? Let's go. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. All right, this dialogue is over. Let's this do this. Shop. All right, let's go inside the tattoo shop and see what's up. It's probably going to be another cutscene, so I have to be quiet. I have to have a little respect for you guys' ears. I'm sorry. Hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. oh whoa, Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is going to have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Oh. Whoa, 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 stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. Uh. I'm by... Ah, oh, you fucking prick! Jesus! Uh, how does it look? I mean, be on it. Oh, are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? Ah, fuck the paparazzi, you're gonna love this! 
Oh, oh, that looks purdy. Here, let's get rid of this. Oh, my God! Papa Bear! What's Daddy number two gonna think about this? Let's not get him involved. Let's do... If I knew I was getting this much work done, I would have brought a camera crew. Look, are you gonna tell me what you're drawing, or is it a surprise? Ah, oh, you butcher! Just relax, okay? Should I draw his three pubic hairs? Ah, there we go. Oh, nice. You got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can. Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you over the head with it. Oh, too far. Oh. Ah. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. When I get nervous, I evacuate my bowels. It's seeping out. Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it! Yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. There's ever a family that needs therapy? <laughs> My ponies. All right. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Hey, how's it going? Now. Who knew you could use it? That right there was my first time on the Ink Master show. Come on, y'all. Just admit it. I'm nice with a tattoo gun. Who would get tatted by me? Like, in all seriousness, who would get tatted by me? Come on. I'm, I'll take any any people that's willing to get tatted. I won't even charge you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> been transformational to your mental health so i don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals hey this was your mother's idea well i guess it beats yoga huh now he beats yoga literally like fabian around the like fabian around the head with the laptop oh yeah like pow our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine yeah, that to be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He show up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long, and I don't have to feel superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good, not an objective universal good. But like a subjective, what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah! Awesome! Let's rob somebody! <laughs> do it, Dad! Yeah! Do, do it! it. Do, do it! it. Enough! Okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off! Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you and seeing as you two aren't into it, you could just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. All right, we're about to go up in therapy and show our asses, show how much of a dysfunctional family we are. So, uh, let's knock this out. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Oh. I dare you hit me. That's what I thought. Where are we going? Kids, let's oh, go inside. The... Okay. All right, I'm gonna be quiet now. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again, Michael. I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm, it's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda, trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. 
You know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh, but... great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael, <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> Squared? Take care now. This motherfucker be taking all my money. So you gonna come home with me or what? I guess we'll give it a try. All right, then. Kids! Are you gonna take us home, then? Nigga, just, I just spent $4,000. Oh man. You know, Damn, we gotta drop in this piece of shit. I thought what? I don't know, like maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Cathartic. All right, I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do, all of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Or... Oh, hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that Whoa. thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Is this a we need a oh, we can't get in? Darn it. I want to hop in that new Bugatti. <laughs> yeah. Well, it wouldn't right. be a DeSanta family reunion without a police chase, would it? Yeah, that was my bad. I know exactly what I'm gonna do, though. If they turn, I uh, turned up. Come on. Don't turn up this way. Here we go. Was, we'd all like to go home now. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster Trevor? There's no explaining what? Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. 
just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I'll give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers. Or other women. Yeah, Dad! Gross! You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, okay? Yeah, it's so demeaning how you treat women. Here we are. Home sweet home. Remember this place? Alright, now that's over. Whew. These missions, boy, I tell you. They take a lot out of you. Kids? Rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. She got jokes. Alright. Mission pass. Things seem to be going good again. Alright, I'm not worried about that. At least I reunited with my family. So is there any cutscene? Whoa, what's going on? Where am I going? Okay, I'm switching to somebody. Oh shit. Not this guy. Morning after the night before. Oh shit. The fuck happened over here? This nigga killed four people? He ain't got no clothes on. You know what I'm saying show y'all his tats though. And y'all get these tats. But uh, this is RKC signing out. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.